making a pool mold to get this part from this mold. I'll show you how to make this mold. Keep watching. Hi everyone, Tony again from DDC. Um, today I'm going to be going over making another mold um, and how I prepare it and make it work. Um, so this is a, a complex part um, that, I'm, that I've been thinking of how to make it um, work in a mold. Um, I've been thinking of, the, of various ways. I've been actually sitting a while trying to decide what, what will be the best to make it work. Um, and actually looking at the parts, any part like this, you actually need to look at drainage um, or when I say drainage, I mean actually getting the air out. Um, so in other words, how to fill um, and then drain basically or fill the whole thing up. Um, so looking at this part, um, as you can see, it has angle at the bottom, which is uh, like a 45. Uh, we're looking at this part this way wouldn't make sense um, to me because of the inner. It might actually catch bubbles, etc. So it's easier maybe going this way around um, and then filling it up and um, getting the air or the the air get pushed out by that by the resin from the bottom through all these sections because it's one piece as you can see um, so the idea here is to make a two-part pool mold so what i'm going to do is i've really cut out a bunch of of um, patty and squares well not squares but um slices and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill up the inner um, with these areas close them up and then let it go over the edge by about maybe a centimeter and then um, the idea is to make the fill or the, the drainage areas on each one of these pillars um, and then make the main one the thicker one the actual fill hole um, and then there'll be registration of keys in each of these areas so the central part doesn't sink down and then i'll mount it this way onto a board and then simply build a box around it and fill it with um, with uh, silicone. And then once that is done, I'll flip it over and then pull out the putty on the inside and then fill that up. Um, and then basically, most likely cut down the side uh, at registration key at an angle um, on each side so that I can actually pull this apart. I'm um, sorry, this way. So that actually clears these um, two, two uh, indentations and then I can actually pull the whole part out of, of the mold so what I'm going to do is while I make this um, prepare this I'm going to do a time lapse um, so feel free to skip ahead to when it's complete just to show you guys um, I might not do a full time lapse but maybe a beginning and the ending uh, I'll see how it goes Okay, so on to preparing it with the um, with the patty.
Okay, I'm back with the um, main body of the weaving model. And I've mounted it this way on the um, on the piece of wood. So now what I've gotten is uh, wide pieces of polycarbonate plastic, which I'm now going to put around about one centimeter on each side. Okay. So once that's done, um, I'll come back when I actually unmold it and I'll show you how the pull mold works because I need to remove all of this putty through the hole and then refill it. So I'll come back when that's done. So here's the part removed from the um, from the mold boxes and as you can see since it's a pool mold this will be the part that's going to pull out um, so what I need to do now is I need to actually pull all of this putty out and then remove the putty completely from the inside where it was supporting clean it out and then fill this up to exactly this level with, uh, with silicone uh, uh, and then what will happen is um, it will form a plug on the top and the pour hole will be one of these one of these two and then I'll still put four drain holes. I'll take, I'll, I'll put photos on at the end of the video and um, before I show the actual completed part. But there'll be a full hole on each of these areas over here. So there'll be quite a few, um, not full hole, uh, uh, sorry, a drain hole, uh, air drainage. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, drainage areas or drainage holes. And then, sorry, nine and then one full. So we'll fill from here and, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll rotate the mold as I fill it to make sure it actually uh, causes no bubbles to form on the inside of the mold.